time for a classic chat. I hope you're ready. I'm certainly not. I've never seen this game before in my entire life. All I have seen of Jack and Daxter is the box art. That's all I've seen of this game. I literally do not know what we are in for, but it looks like a treat. I hope you're excited, because I certainly am. Let's get into it. Game, I would like to create a new save file. It's gonna go onto the memory card. Oh boy. I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose, and why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Eco, one of the wisest men on the planet. <sighs> So it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. Search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Does he turn into Daxter? Huh? Turn into the little weasel oh, guy? Stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! Amazing. <laughs> what in green tarnation do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right. And then... And, Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man! Are you gonna keep yapping, or are you gonna help me out of this mess? I'm gonna keep yapping, because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, <laughs> I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? 
There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Karl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark gooey eco stuff, will we? Cause I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there! Before I turn you both into ferns! Oh, and we're playing. Yeah, that cutscene was a lot to unpack. First off, incredibly expressive animations on these boys, even though they're like super low poly. I was so impressed with it, especially the animations on Daxter. Just incredibly emotive. Really, really cool. You love to see it. I'm kind of excited for this game. This I feel like it has a lot of. Communicator. With it, my father and I can give you advice at any time during your quest. Oh no. Oh no, it's Navi. This feels like I'm playing it on the old PS2. Do I have an option here to change the, um... An option to change the camera? I don't think I do. I think I have to play with the camera backwards. This is sad. And I love this game. I love the series. I'd hope there would be some newer generation games. <laughs> hey. If you wish to build Rome, simply simply start placing blocks. Uh, that was a really bad saying. <laughs> but I think you get the gist. Go go work for Naughty Dog. Go make some go make some games. I still kick myself for not playing through the whole series on my old PS2. This feels like I'm playing it on an old PS2. So uh, maybe you gotta go and pick up a PS5 and run run with it. Oh man. You can't come back to the warp gate until you find all four power cells on this island. Okay, we got a double jump. We got a slam. We hit things with our fist. Oh, we got a spin. We got a bandicoot spin. That's cool. Oh, and then we got our classic. Oh no, this is inverted too. What is what is with old games and thinking that they're on a flight sim? I'm I'm on the beach. Just have to emulate it? Yeah, probably. Oh, okay, you got a triple jump. That's neat. Two hark things that I don't know what they do, but I'm going to collect them anyways because that's the kind of game that we're playing. Oh, look at all this stuff. It's all rocks. These floating egg-shaped things are precursor orbs. Collect enough of them, and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. Okay, collectible time. Like Spyro, let's do it. Yeah, I miss these kind of games that had the, like a little wacky cartoon thing going on. Just run around and collect stuff and not care that much. You know, you come home from school learning that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. This is a power cell. 
the most important precursor artifact you can find. The mitochondria. You need to collect 20 of these so I can power the heat shield for your a grab zoomer. Continue? Okay. And I wonder how many people wanted to look like Jack back in the day. I wonder. Sometimes you'll want to hit things with a greater force. To break one of these boxes, you should jump in the air and then dive down onto it, hands first. Hey, you found one of my scout flies. I sent seven of them to each area to look for power cells, but the workers must have captured them all. Such a creepy model. Look at that thing. I really don't know how to feel about that. Oh. Uh, now is there something over here? I was expecting death! And I got swimming mechanics! Oh, that's a nice feeling. I was expecting death and got the ability to swim. I'm fairly certain there's an HD collection for modern hardware. I'd imagine that this is the HD collection. Ever played Jack and Dexter, but absolutely love the Ratchet and Clank series? If that's on here, uh, and, and this goes well, I'm, I'm definitely thinking about it. I wonder if that's slightly faster. This is the speedrunning strat, you just... ...run your way through. Six and then seven. Well, we got them all. Power cell. Wow! That last scout fly had a power cell. I'll bet if you collect all seven in each area, you can find even more power cells. I wonder if we get a uh, bonus from destroying all of the training dummies. Did we miss one over here? No, I don't think so. That's Blue Eco, which contains the energy of motion. Blue Eco allows you to run fast, break boxes, and even activate some precursor artifacts when you get near them. It sounds pretty neat. I'm not zooming anymore. Ooh, there's stuff down here. Boom, 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 boom. Go, go, go. Go, go. There's an absolutely fantastic speed run of this game from uh, an AGDQ some years ago. Sounds like something that I'm going to have to look up when I'm finished playing with this uh, with this game, because that yeah, sounds pretty cool. Is this an open world game? Can you just go anywhere? Is it not in stages? Could I just like go swim over to that island if I wanted to? Obviously you can't right now because it's the tutorial, but I mean like when you're out of the tutorial. Because that'd be pretty sweet. That would be a uh, pretty... Pretty lit, as the kids would say. <laughs> J and D two and three are the very best in PlayStation platforming. Hi. We'll be the judge of that, as I've played Sly, and I thought Sly was the very pinnacle this of PlayStation platforming. Door. It can only be opened by approaching the door while channeling Blue Eco through your body. 
Oh, Jesus fuck, how many years has it been since I saw Yaddle and played this game? Sly, bro, yes. Yeah, I know, I know. Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. I especially liked three. You remember, uh, you remember going to, uh... You remember going to, uh, like, Holland or whatever and having to do the little hacking minigames and, and fight the Baron? And then the Baron was actually, um... Like, a potential love interest for Sly that ended up becoming Bentley's love interest? It wasn't that great. That's a blue eco vent. More concentrated than the floating clusters. This vent will give you a full charge of blue eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. I miss the console mascot wars. I do too. We need more, like, lovable, adorable mascot creatures like Daxter over here. We need them. Even though, like, you know... Nowadays, people will just do irresponsible things with them. Good work! The Blue Eco caused the door to open. With Blue Eco, you can breathe energy into all kinds of precursor artifacts that have lain dormant for years. Jack X is fun enough. The kind of industrial vibe to it was great. Is that a newer one? Are these, like, creeps? Oh, they're not. There's big drums. Can I get in there? Oh, <laughs> okay. I was thinking about it. I was like, oh, can I be a little bit feisty here? Can I fight the game? The answer was no, the game knows. The game knows what you're trying to do, Miles. It's gonna keep you from doing it. Oh, Miles playing some Jack and Daxter? Yeah, I am. I figured I didn't have enough brain power. Those little green balls of energy on the ground are a type of eco. Pick up 50 small green ecos or one big green one to increase your health. Nice. Yeah, I felt like um, I, my brain was too small to just be constantly talking over Dark Cloud 2 and it's grind fest. So instead of doing that, we're gonna do this. Jump once, then jump again in the air to reach even higher ledges. 50 out of 50 guys are rocks. That's what I'm talking about. Can I look down from here by doing this? Yeah, I can. Doesn't look like there's anything down there. Sega was a great console, if not only for the more and more aggressive Sega, yeah, uh, as the as generations went on, yeah. Sega! I, I feel that. Also, Ratchet and Clank, my heart, I still need a not shit remote to emulate those. I feel ya. Are you doing the Grindfest off stream? I am not. I am currently searching for a job, preferably remote. And, uh, given that I am searching for a job, I do not have time for things like, uh, like, grinding... 20 hours of Dark Cloud 2. You all of the power cells on the island. Come back to the warp gate so I can bring you back to the lab. Hurry up! We collect everything? I think we did. I think we got them all. A plus, chat. Good training, boys, but that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead. And uh, no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away, then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My Don Green eco collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you, get out of here! He's really crotchety, eh? Do I go to get out? Do I just walk out the door? Haha, I do! Adventure away! <laughs> Rank. Well, Miles does stream. I do. 
So my current objective right now is to um, try to find some QA testing position the studio in the game studio kind of hard since a lot of them kind of want you to be like on site and I can't leave where I am currently because I signed a lease and I'm not gonna break it so like but I'm looking I'm doing my thing and if I end up having to work at some like retail stock job for a little while I don't mind You gotta love the sound effects. Beep, boom, beep, boom, beep, boom. That's so much soul. <laughs> What's in here? I wanna go rob this person. Oh, I hear the spy plane. It's kind of a. Uh... It's kind of weird. That this lady just like sends spy planes to everybody. You know what I mean? Oh, don't tell me that you two have problems as well. The, the first I hear of the monster sightings near the village, and now this. See those gears up there, boys. See them? See how they're not moving? That means our village has no power. The eco beam coming from the jungle temple has been interrupted. Boys. Everyone's too frightened to go out and, and find out what's happened. Did you pay the bill? Yeah. Hmm? Oh, oh, you're funny. Now look, if you two fix the eco beam, I'll give you a power cell. Oh, and, and another thing, if by any chance you're interested in making a contribution to my re-election campaign, I, I might be willing to part with yet another power cell. The minimum contribution is, a, oh, a very modest 90 precursor orbs. Right. I love the overacting in this game. It's really great. It's so hammy. It looks like scout flies You're playing the original in red boxes. You were playing the original Halo earlier today? A while that this came out in the same year, isn't it? Oh man, I need to replay the original Halo. I need to get some boys together. To do a, a WBPL stream, probably, maybe. Like Halo on Legendary? I think that'd be pretty based. Hello there, my dear boy. You've caught me at a most inopportune moment. Uh, I wish to set off on my journey yesterday, but I seem to be a spot short on the old precursor orbs. I would have pledged my word that I had 90 of them, but I gather that your young friend, you know, the little annoying, miserably ugly one, might have just pilfered them as a sort of a spot of fun. Anyway, uh, well, would you be kind enough to loan your dear old uncle 90 precursor orbs so he can get underway? I would offer you a power cell in return. Six leaves better? I agree, they did a really good job on the on the shading and stuff. Got the MCC? Oh, I, I freaking love the MCC. Do a lasso run? Hell no. Did the lasso for recon armor back in the day? I'm not ever gonna do that again. There's no point. You have the original gearbox port to PC? Yeah. All right. Uh, okay, so that guy, that guy. I don't think we walked into here. Is there anybody in here? The answer is no. Some sort of fisherman. It's down there. Bye-bye. Oh, there's another one. Do, do, do. Oh, look at him. Look at him like... Ah, oh, man, my pants are wet. I don't... <laughs> I love it. The MCC is probably the only thing still funding 343 right now. Yeah, I agree, because their other games were shit. Like, don't get me wrong, I love Halo. I would absolutely work for 343 if I had the opportunity to. 
but oh my god they need they need some new direction like badly oh my what a horribly sick little bird <laughs> you don't look so good yourself lady oh sorry i thought you were a spotted orange bellied rain tree. You know, yesterday I saw some terribly vicious creatures capture a mother flut flut near the beach. Now there's this poor little orphan egg sitting in a nest at the top of the cliff and I can't get to it. If you could climb up there and push it off, I've piled some hay down at the base to catch it safely. Do an old lady a favor and I'll give you a power cell. Look a good plan. Easy bird lady. Oh man, I can't believe this is like an open world adventure game. Like that boggles my mind. Do we have a journal? Kind of, but not really. Oh crap. I wonder if you can still get the screen sheet game. It really hits the feeling of true console multiplayer. I bet you can. I mean, like, that's a pretty modern game, right? Hey! Little furry dude! Oh, I thought for a moment you were my muse. You're what? This guy's a furry. Haven't you ever seen a muse before? It's a little glowing squirrel about your size, full of spunk, chat I'm, I made the joke but I think it might be real you heard what he just said crazy as a lark oh I get it like a sidekick as a matter of fact without my muse I just can't sculpt but with her around I see beauty in everything you know no chat Right now, I couldn't chisel my way out of a box. I think she ran away to that misty island. Huh. I just hope she's all right. It's worth a power cell if you bring her back to me. Wait a minute. We are not going back to Misty Island. Are we? Oh, yeah, it's totes available on Steam. Yeah, I'm going to make you feel old. Screen sheet is from 2014. Yeah, I'm not surprised by that. That's still pretty modern. If it's in the last 10 years, it's modern. I don't, I don't know how to like properly categorize games from like the 2000s. Like from like the 2010s to, to like 2020s. Like, are those, are those games, they're not vintage, right? But they're like, is it like classic, like classic games? So like older than 2000, or I would say like 2003, right? And earlier is like, Vintage and then we go classic depends on who's counting. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. I guess that's true <laughs> Oh my gosh, it really is just like one big level like imagine imagine doing this Back in the day doing something this big with no loading screens. You just loaded everything real time what a weird looking thing! I bet we can get this open if you power up with that zappy blue eco stuff. I bet too! Someone in their early uh, 20s, late 10s would say 2014 is ancient history. I was about to say I'm in my early 20s, but no, I'm in my late 20s now. It feels awful to say. If I'm if I'm 26, I don't think I can say I'm in my early 20s anymore. Okay, this doesn't do anything anymore. I think we spent it. What are you? Animal abuse. Oh, got a 
milk those yak cows. Gotta milk those yak cows. <laughs> oh, it's you. Oh, just resting my tired bones. I've been trying to get those Henri yak cows back into the pen all day. Some strange creatures tried to steal them earlier. You think you could help an old man and try to get him back into the corral? Yes, with animal abuse. Oh, yeah, we got this. Oh, yeah, get in there. Into the corral. Yeah, that's one. <laughs> All right, let's do number two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You make your way in there, buddy. Oh, we don't even need to hit him. That's such a shame. I'm saying that sarcastically, by the way. In case anybody didn't get it. Oh, there's four yak cows. Oh man, get in that corral. One in the corral. Let's go. Yeah, nice. That was some AI assistance at work there. I appreciate that. Oh my God, there's even more. Okay, let's see if we can grab two of them at once. Hey, buddy. I need you to that way, yes. No, stop, stop going back the other way. Oh, well. Yes, good. Get into the pen. This is a mistake trying to do two at once. Hey, where do you think you're going? Also, these things, I would never want to punch one of these things. Like, they have horns that look like they can mess you up. Farmer owes us a power cell. Let's go talk to him. He never promised a power cell. Actually. Ah, well done, my boy. You actually got those flea bags back into the pen. Now I can sleep in peace. Take this power cell for your trouble. Well, don't mind if I do. All right, let's go check out this cliff. Does anybody uh, remember Tack in the Power of Juju? I tried replaying it, but it, it like really did not work well on the emulator that I was trying it on when I uh, when I had uh, I had that setup going. What the? F you don't have enough power cells to fuel my heat shield. You can't cross Fire Canyon until you collect enough power cells. Right. Okay. I like the music there. It's very fancy. <laughs> I like the little rice field out here. Like, that's pretty neat. God, her voice is so grating. Yeah, that that's the one thing that's going to get me with this game, is this little stupid robot being like, oh, you, I do stuff this specific way. That looks like the bone zone. Can I make it over there? No. I do not think that I can. Maybe if I had some, uh, some energy, some blue eco, maybe I could make it over there. Check out that funky maybe. sculpture sitting on a box over there. Oh, there we go. All right, that works. <laughs> And the game, the game is really like, hey, you need to know the advanced, the advanced tech to get over here. Tiger Tasmanian Tiger, what a banger that game was too. That was for Sega, right? I think I remember that. All right. Back in the Power of Juju did have a sequel and a cartoon, and the sequel was sounds better than the original. Oh, the scout flies in this area. This well, must be you... a precursor oracle like the sage always goes on about. 
I hope they weren't as ugly in person. Also, they have two power cells in their eyes. Who awakens the Oracle? Wait, one of you has the light within. From before time, I have watched and waited for the true hero to return. Present to me 120 precursor orbs for each power cell I contain. Um. Hey, cheapskate. How many precursor orbs do I have? Is, um. Are those the precursor orbs? If so, we need a lot more. It was also on the PS2, it was, yep. We scrounged enough orbs to trade for a power cell. Let's get back and make the switch already. Here's one of those classes that was only released in the US by Konami of all publishers, Metal Warriors on the SNES. I was too, uh, too young for the SNES. Also, afternoon to you as well. <clears throat> PS2 is a golden age of gaming. I agree. I agree. Maybe that's just because we were all dumb kids. reacts oh that's so good look at that it has a simulation to it that's so neat you look dangerous to sell beat it I don't think I'm supposed to be over here yet Tutorial zone. We are now no longer in tutorial zone. What do I do? Like that? Oh no, it just comes back up. That's fine. I could just grab Daxter and start swinging him around. great games too. Xbox had Halo and that's it. No one talks about anything else. Here we are, all these great long-running series that kept their characters for so damn long. I agree. I was really excited to get a 360 though, because that's when I actually like got, got into Halo. I started with Halo 3 and I was blown away by it. It was amazing for its time. What is this thing? I feel like we're we're going places and doing things that we don't know anything about. Oh, that thing. Okay, let's go. Uh -huh. Door is open. Power cell. Nice. It must have been a bustling artisanal chest building industry to have all these purpose built chests. Yeah, just for them to break too. It's pretty impressive. Machine and break the mirror, diverting the precursor beam. Oh, okay. Whatever this machine is, we don't know who built this thing. How do we break it? Do I just. Find a 
stop the beam by pointing it at the next tower. Okay. Hey, we can follow the beam to find the next tower. Oh gosh, there's so much to do. And I love the Jack and Daxter series, probably my all-time fave PS2 trilogy. I'm enjoying it a lot so far. Just started, I've, I've literally never seen it. This is my first time ever experiencing Jack and Daxter. I've never seen the game played, never seen anything about it. Totally blind. Did you pull it around? gives us a little secondary thing that we can do to oh never mind oh i'm also dead that looks like it hurts should i call for backup so smartly about it what do we do to deserve that daxter ff indeed the long-term gaming winners may be pc eventually everything else shows up on it i agree like even god of war is on pc now would be the winner for like older games let's go to the next tower and reconnect the beam there if they were compatible with pc which most of them aren't which makes things very difficult i feel like we're just stealing everybody's life essence here give me your money give me your green months Almost had an extra heart. Where is the next beam going to? Can't see it through the tree line. Perhaps I am blind. Oh, well, I don't need it anymore. They're dead. I'm not sure what you're referring to. I just had to really trust fall the game there. Drive me broke. What? Oh, it's a it's a boy. What do you have in the basket? Nothing to talk about. Damn monsters patrolling the ocean took a bite out of me fishing rig. Right. And now they're gobbling up my catch. No matter what I try, I can't seem to catch a single fish in this river. Woo! Maybe. It's your breath. You think you can do better? Try scooping up river fish with a tiny net. I'll give you a power set if you can catch 200 pounds of them critters. And then I'll let you and Shrimp here use my speedboat to get to Misty Island. He's want to try the challenge. Yes. There are two types of good fish to catch. One pound fishies and five pound fishies. Hey, if you miss 20 pounds of good fish, then I'm gonna take me net back from you. There are poisonous eels in this river. Catch even a one of them boogers, and you'll poison the whole darn catch. So don't catch the poison eels, catch everything else, got it. Here comes a big one. Steady boy.
Oh, can I use the directional pad with this? I cannot. I have to use the L, the L pad. Okay. Here comes a big one. I gotta focus, chat. Exclusive in arcade games like S or ZX Spectrum Tunnel with his emulation true. Starting to think this bloke isn't a good fisherman? Well, that's wrong. Because like he's got so many poison eels in the freaking in the freaking stream, okay? Oh, uh, that's so mean in the game for you to get more than halfway there and then be like, ah yes, here's a bunch of poison eels, enjoy. Here comes a big one. I'm moving the left stick with two fingers, by the way. Because otherwise, like, it's it's very precise movements, and it will Stay mess up my thumb. I tried to just do it with my thumb. Get your fish. <laughs> Do a terrible job at it. Here comes a big one. Oh gosh. Okay. Sometimes you gotta know when to let the fish go. Yeah, I mean, the, 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 the tiny net is definitely hard, but it's better not to catch the other the eels and stuff. E. Way. Don't trap me in the corner. Bro. Here comes a big one. You can't do this to me. Off nice and easy. Here comes a big one. It's a lot of eels. net than you might think it's got momentum to it Steady boy. 
Fisher slipped. Oh man. Base happens to be a master fisher bear. Yeah, I'm not. Don't be bad. This took me like 20 tries when I was eight. Yeah, well, that's how it goes. See, this is what I like about old games. Just get good. Yeah, yeah. The classic, <laughs> the classic rage gamer age. <laughs> yes, I played my fair share of old console games. I feel you. Oh. Okay, we got this. Or we don't. Maybe we need a rock star. I was streaming yesterday, and uh, I had one of those like Starfield brand rock stars. You know the promotional ones. For some reason, they have more sugar than the regular rock stars. It has 112 grand or 112 percent of your recommended daily value of sugar inside of it. 112 percent. I was off my rocker. It caused us to lose our uh, hard space shipbreaker run right at the end because I was like, oh, I need this piece, and then I got caught in the processor. And we died. It's a bad time. No! No! Ah! Here goes a big one. Hey, we got it this time. The wolf got him again. The eel got me again. The slippery, the slippery little dog. Little diggy do. Steady boy. We got it now. I'm feeling pretty confident. Now we just have to survive. Survive the onslaught of eels. It's coming. Where's the onslaught? Where is it? Where is it? I know it's coming. You can't just pretend it's not gonna happen. Steady boy. Here comes a big one. Shipbreaker 2 should be a traveling salvager with a crew, so co-op, but like bidding on debris fields or trash ships? Yes, Diggs, yes, 100%. That's exactly what I want from it. And I left like a huge review about like, this game has so much promise, you could do so much with it. I really hope the second one is like that. And then it's exactly how I feel about it. Here's the power set I promised. And you can use my boat at the village dock whenever you like. A bitch salvage crew is like the clans fighting over honor. Yeah, and then and then you have to race the other clan for the salvage. Yes, that sounds lit as fuck. He, he's really happy because we just got him like five months worth of food or more. Get piranhas. Oh, those are explosives. Got it. Oh man, I'm, I'm on a high now, chat. Oh man. I'm feeling good now. I don't think there's anything that can take me down off of this. We need to remember that there's that blue eco uh, reservoir down there. Oh look, another spy box. Oh, there's really nothing else up there? Okay. Last time I played Shipbreaker, I had a nuke and fuel double flash from Stray Sparks lighting a small tank. Was dust before I knew it? <laughs> yep. That's how it goes. You make one little mistake outside of procedure and you get, you get your butt kicked. That was my problem. I was getting bored because we were just waiting for the, um, for the little end sequence to happen so that we could start salvaging some more. And, um, and yeah, I, I 
didn't follow procedure. Got my butt kicked. Where is this next ray of sunshine going? Oh, it's right there. How do we get there? Oh, we have to go up that way. Okay. Ow. So happy. Look at us. We made a man happy today. Clan Junkyard Doug? What about Rust Dragon? That sounds like a better Junker clan. I agree. That sounds rad. That sounds like a great clan name. Rust Dragon. I love that. I would love to run a salvaging crew named Rust Dragon. That sounds fucking cool. I want video games. I want video games that are like a tool for, for um, game masters. You know what I mean? Like, like imagine a game like Hard Space Shipbreaker, like being tied to a game with mechanics like that, where like you role played a Junker crew and then you got to go in and like do ships in the game. And then your performance and stuff would like tell the GM like, oh, so now you can do these things on these tables. Wouldn't that be fucking rad? Too many noises going on around here. I think that the track here is a little bit too much for me. Just, there's too much going on in the track, and then there's too much going on in the music. Scrap, yes. I've discovered that those are like nitro boxes. Stay alive. Step two. so happy. You know, this game is very simple in the way that it does things, but I'm not complaining. It's kind of nice. to run back huh wants to run back to it i don't know about that chat really quickly i'm gonna go grab a rock star i'll be right back one moment turned for a minute i was confused because miles was playing a different game yeah i was i was and then we realized that it's not a fun game i'm gonna put that out there in dark cloud 2 not fun dark cloud 1 was lots of fun maybe it was my nostalgia speaking most of the time that we were playing it but uh yeah i didn't really enjoy dark cloud 2 it uh, it would have captured me as a kid, or like, it would capture me if it was one of those games where I wanted to play it and then like have an audiobook on in the background and just chill, or like play it while I was sick, like at home sick from school or something, you know? But me as a grown ass man with like things to do in the day and people to entertain i can i don't think i don't think it was the, it's the kind of game for us to play we might revisit it at some point not right now oh no crazy that we only get three lives Yeah. 
need to go recharge. All right, we gotta go make it over there. That one thing before we miss it. Maybe the jumping in the water doesn't make us miss it. Here we go. Nice. That's what we wanted. That's rude. Wait, underwater rocks? Oh, I see. We gotta charge them up in order to grab them. That's cool. As for my double flash, I had been following standard operating procedure and stripping the outer hull plates. The tank was on the far side of an airlock. I couldn't see around, and the cutter spray got it. Yeah, that's why it's a tactic to have the cutter range be really low so that you can better control it. And it's something that I kind of agree with the more that I play the game. It seems like it's way better. Alright, so it looks like in order to get those, we need to do it in a very specific order. Yeah, so we got a precursor launcher here, but you aren't powered up with the blue stuff. So it ain't gonna help us! Yeah, I get it, Daxter. I'm trying to grab these rocks. Yeah, we got the rocks. I like how the game is showing you, like, hey, we're open world. You could literally go around the entire island if you wanted to, but it's naturally gravitating you to not do that with its pickups and stuff. Whoa, that's cool. I like that. Where are we? Ah, oh, we're up here with the, with the old machine. Cool. Now I see. The wide cutter can be weirdly effective in those situations, but you've gotten complacent. Yeah, I, that's why I like the, the wide cutter because you know it's not gonna nick anything. We need to get to the top of that tower. <laughs> You know, uh, destroy all the is on the game pass too. That might be a fun, interesting time, huh? Six, I think there's one more. Yeah, I think it's on the side of the tower somewhere. If I'm remembering right. stays lit, you don't have to go back down. Oh, we could have made that. Oh man, platformers, am I right? So there's Mist Island. We got some areas over there through the through the fire pass, and then we got like I think another playable area over there. And then presumably like probably not stuff out there. I'm guessing this game is shorter than I'm uh than I would expect for modern more modern titles, you know? But uh But yeah. Whee. Now, if I'm remembering right, we should just be able to come pop up over there and we get some, uh, get some more stuff that we can do. Our last little fly buzzer. You know what I'm saying? It's all seven. 
moving platforms in 2D can be hard enough. Yeah, you know, like Super Meat Boy and that kind of junk. Where am I? Oh, this goes back to... Uh... Yeah. I was hoping for there to be a secret behind the waterfall, and there is not. There's no secret behind the waterfall. That's this area cleared, minus this little thing we gotta do. Can't believe this civilization has figured out wireless power and we still haven't. We should go tell that windbag of a mayor that he owes us big time for connecting the village energy beam. Agree. I also have enough for two power cells. Oh, we did. It just got buried. I know. Blame Big Oil and uh, Thomas Edison. Is this guy gonna let us buy a power cell? I don't think so, right? Yeah, he's, he's done. Hey! Let's go check out old fish breath speedboat at the dock! Oh, we will soon. What, what just happened? I tripped on myself. Oh! Hello again. Did you boys find that blue egg on the cliff? Push it off the edge, and I'll give you a power cell. Where is the blue egg on the cliff? I'm guessing it's this way. I think what we'll do is we'll just, like, do this side and then come back and t turn in all the quests. Have you ever read about Tesla's energy plans? Wild stuff. I haven't read about it specifically, but uh, I've, I've seen some stuff on it. It's pretty crazy. Dude is a mad genius. Am I the only one who noticed her butt jiggled when she turned back to watch birds outside? Listen, grannies can have the thick, the thick too, okay? It's not just, it's not just hot people, okay? <laughs> I mean, it's just not people in their prime, okay? <laughs> Let the granny have her jiggle. Let her get jiggy with it. You weren't expecting this game to have butt physics? Listen, they hired animators for a reason. They're gonna get their money's worth. All right, treasure. What's going on here? Is something getting exploded with bombs? It's happening. Are those trash bags? sure what's going on here is this like the the giant from dark souls 3 moment where he's like throwing little spears at you and you go up there and make a friend with him and be like yes very good friend except this one's throwing flaming bags of trash I agree. It's boss time. He got that island shooting the bomb sacks at you? Yeah, I noticed. Come on, nerd. I'm going to 
going to moon you as a, as a form of taunting. Do you remember when that was a thing? Remember when the actor from Home Alone starred in that movie where he was the president and, and he showed his bare naked butt on, on like a public movie screen? That would never happen nowadays. None of you, none of you probably know what I'm talking about because that just sounded like a really weird string of logic, but I think there was a movie where the kid from Home Alone was like a kid president. And, and I don't know, I don't know what a series of events were, but like, he like mooned a bunch of reporters or something. I don't know. I feel like for how big a deal they make these power cells out to be, they're not hard to get a hold of. I feel like the only reason why we need them is because we're like trying to technologically progress or whatever. Aw oh, man, we need to go back that way and figure that stuff out. Sad. Also, remember that Disney movie where like the kid had to come to terms with turning into a merman? And how it was like a, a theme for puberty, but also maybe being gay. You can barely remember Richie Rich? Yeah, it was Richie Rich! That's what it was! Oh my gosh. Oh man, that little puppy thing would be super scary if I was a kid. Dude, Richie Rich was red! Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. I think we all... I think we all have a, a weird place that we've sequestered Richie and Rich to in our brains. Are you near the egg yet? Oh, the egg yet. Also, I know how you're contacting me. I'm surprised that dog didn't get blown into smithereens. How do you how do you all have such love for this movie? I literally don't remember anything about it. Y'all are like, oh yeah, Richie Rich, that was great. I also remember movie with kids and one of them had a weird spike of hair on his head. Oh, you mean like just like in the middle of his head? Man, the early 2000s was a weird place. Spy kids though. Oh yeah, little rascals? Now that's even older. Oh man. Oh yeah, but we... What a trip, what a trip that would be to go back and watch the little rascals nowadays. Chat, um, if you wanted to watch me play a horror game, because we're getting into spooky month, like a quick horror game, what would you want to see? Because I'm thinking about it, I love spooky month. I love Spooky Month. I'm not really good with horror. Like, I'm bad with horror. I'm a scared little bitch. So I'm wondering, like, if y'all wanted to see something, what would you want to see? Do you have any good horror game recommendations? The Flintstones movie? I don't even remember the Flintstones movie. Luigi's Mansion, if that's an option? Um, I would have to see about running it. Uh, I would have to see about, I mean, Obtaining a legitimate copy of the game. A legitimate copy of the game. There is a chance that that could be possible. That's it. Just a little further. Come on, push the egg off the cliff. Oh my, that was gentle. Good job. Now beat me down here by the egg. You see this granny lied to us? She was like, ah, yes, I put the hay there, so it'll be okay. Uh, we might want to talk to the bird watcher and see if we scramble that flood flood egg. Dead Space will make you shit your pants if you never played? I've seen a little bit of Dead Space. It's a, it's a resource management game. It's some body horror. And by some, I mean a lot. Gotta get all the rocks, chat. Super duper important. Yeah, 
Yeah, you didn't even leave a thing for us to, to put it on. This is what you wanted, right? You wanted a big scrambled egg? Oh my! I hope the poor deer's okay. Here's a power cell for your valor. No, oh, no! No, 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 no! Look, isn't that cute? It thinks you're its mama. Ah, I'm not your mom. You see any feathers here? Oh, love at first sight. Oh. Listen, boys, I'll take this little chick back to the village with me and work with the sage to take care of her. Yeah. Oh, how they absolutely ruin those games, though? Yeah, I heard that that got into a train wreck. Like, I don't remember if two was actually, like, better than one. But I know for a fact that three was the worst. Oh, interesting. To get to that pelican, we have to swim out to it. That's cool. Yeah, three was the worst. Yeah, two was okay. At least it wasn't microtransaction single player mess. Yeah. Ooh, there's rocks down here. We're gonna have to grab those. Does anybody else feel like these little orb things look like Cadbury eggs? Like, does anybody feel like you could, like, take off the foil shell of these and just pop them into your mouth and eat them? The rail shooter on the Wii was better than three? That's saying something, man. Rail shooters are not great. Give me it back. Quick! We have to get to the power oh, cell before we're racing the it. Scoops okay. It up again. Interesting. She fixed a bunch of gameplay issues that one had and was well received. Yeah, I thought so. That's what the zeitgeist in my brain is telling me. The oracle in my subconscious. Lost Planet, a shout out for another great game that GWL murdered. Games for Windows Live, gotta love them. How do we get... I'm imagining that there must be like a reservoir somewhere that we can... Oh yeah, it's up there. We grab that, and then we go down there and pick up all that stuff. Yeah, seems seems like that's the way we do it. Okay. What are those? Oh, those are just monsters. Cool. Dead Space reminded me too much of a cartoon called Astro Fighter Sunrise to take it seriously, really. Seems strange. We can Geo Harvest Day. Is this going to give us a tangible benefit later in the game? Because if it does, I think that's going to be really cool. Like an upgrade that's like, hey, now you can recharge your uh, health a lot easier. That'd be pretty sweet. Or like give us another hard container. Maybe it was with two was damn good. Ah, oh, sweet. DWO was a mistake. Well, I, I see that. I think that it just needed a little bit of a better execution. You two have finally decided to unblock my collectors. I would offer my congratulations, but you have so much to do, I won't waste your time. By the way, if things don't work out, Daxter could always get a job controlling the village rat problem. <laughs> <laughs> this old sage is an asshole. I love him. It was the Stom and Dead Space that made it too funny of an association? I can see why that would be the case. That Stom is a little bit... It's a little bit too much. Is that a hole to go down? Okay. Let's see if we can make our way up. How do we get over there? I see a little platform. We have to do something else in order to get up there? It's looking like we might. So I don't see a way up here. Maybe we would like get a glider later and we can come and grab this junk. Not sure. Look at all those pigeons. So, funny story. I told this before, but I've been playing a lot of Genshin Impact, 
and there are these little pigeons in the game too and if you kill them you get like little fowl and there's a bird or there's a boy on a bridge that like talks to all these pigeons and it's a common trope in that game for you to like run up and kill all the pigeons in front of him and to harvest them for their fowl for their little meats and all this is making me want to do right now i'm pavlovian conditioned to like pull out a bow with an aoe shot and just whoosh, blow them all up every single one of them and make that little boy cry hey seagulls let's buzz them for kicks <laughs> It's five. We're missing two. Get on that thing. From here, like, for actually from everywhere, it doesn't look like we have anything that can get up there. I'm guessing that it's going to be that lift thing. We got to charge up. Look at this. This is a new Mombasa, Halo Two level. crimes intensify the foulest of crimes like if you're gonna hard like into the service like that you're not you've an allegation to remove that lock when you kill the back end service corporations don't have an obligation to do anything for you that's the problem that's the problem these little spheres on the back here it's interesting there's a power cell up here right there's a power cell up on one of these i think do we already grab it no, we didn't. It's over there. Weird. Thought we had already gone up on that one. I'm surprised that if we did, we didn't grab anything from it. It's so mean. This game is one of those that show that good artwork beats graphic every single time. 200% agree. You don't need the best graphics in the world to have a cool game. Uh, speaking of, uh, there's a game that released recently um, that's really cheap. That's kind of like a Metroidvania 2D platformer that I am intending on playing on my own. Um, that's getting really, really great reviews. And I want to look it up so that I can recommend it to you all. Um, like overwhelmingly positive reviews for this game so i'm imagining if you want like a real retro kick it's going to be the game for you let me just pull up my wish list and see if i can find it sort by your rank uh, blah, 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 blah. it was called pseudo regalia pseudo regalia there you go so apparently this is like a really good like PS1 style sort of uh, Metroidvania platformer. I'm going to pick that up sometime because I think it would be very, very cool. Um, just want to put that out there for those of you who are on the Nostalgia Game Kick and don't necessarily want to play an old game and you want to play something new. What are we missing here? We're missing one that we don't know about, and we're missing... Chase the Seagulls? We have one for Chasing the Seagulls? Chase them where? They're all gone. Oh, we have to chase them around everywhere. Interesting. Good, I like being a, a foul terrorist. Now where are you going? Oh my god, we made them crash into a waterfall? What the hell? Bullgun's going to feed your nostalgia for a bit, even though it feels like an Whoa. arena shooter at times. They caused an avalanche. Let's check it out. Yeah, I didn't like Bolt Gun. Specifically for that reason, it felt less like a boomer shooter and it felt more like Hey, you're just trying to slog through this game and kill everything that you see. What? I don't have a 
of attack that can go up. What are you talking about? Do I have a way up here? I do not. Okay, we know where all of the, the spy plane things are now. There's only one more left and it's on that uh, it's on that little outcrop over there. Let's see if we can get up here. What is this? It's like a button, but it clearly is not doing that. Charge this. I don't see anything around here that could charge this. Do I have to somehow get up there beforehand? Maybe we have to go up to the castle from behind. Proteus is a better boomer shooter. I know somebody who worked on Proteus, if, if that's the game that I'm thinking of. Oh, we have to dive for them? I see. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you, Dexter. Iron Fury is a pretty good retro shooter. Hmm. I wouldn't know. Okay. Now we need to figure out this puzzle. A puzzle of how we charge these objects. Proceed there. I don't know. an upwards attack maybe we have to grab it oh okay so we have a crouch thing we have a dodge that's neat oh i'm gonna use this literally all the time you, you know how it is it's slightly faster than moving we're gonna roll our way through the entire game you're waiting on Salako. is that like an alien thing would you send me a link to that if so because i kind of like the idea of that Okay, so I see how we do this then, if we have a words attack. Yeah. 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 the game to inherently design their upwards attack yeah. mechanic to where I could just guess and figure it out. Uh. Okay, no. I was thinking that maybe we could, uh... Do like a combo where we do the, the yeah. up thing and then we anyways wait do we, can we dive like actually dive just pressing buttons to see if we can do it oh that's how we dive okay not far enough do it from like the top here and have a better uh, a better shot at it no okay I'm wrong you could just play dusk for spooky October if you want to mix with a retro shooter I don't specifically want to play a retro shooter when I was asking earlier I was like oh it's just generic horror games you know I've seen people play Dusk, and I don't think it's my cup of tea. I'm pretty sure you can just dive, not sort of jump dive. Are you sure? I pressed all the buttons, and it didn't seem to do anything. Why have this here, like this? Not sure. Now I know I can do this, and then this. Grab this. Ooh, 
there's a code there. That's nice. Slacko's a GZ Doom game that has the uh, Duke 3D interactivity and it's AI and inspired by fear. Oh, and it's AI is inspired by fear. Okay, interesting. Well, I'd re highly recommend Signalis. It's an atmospheric mystery survival horror. Signalis is good. I saw uh, like a little bit of gameplay of Signalis and it seemed very simple. <sighs> I forgot you get dealt damage by that. Oops. I might have to check out Signalis. Actually, let's see really quickly here. Let's see, is Signalis in the PlayStation Plus Premium? Search for games, Signalis. Signal. It is, look at that, it's right there. Oh, it's 20 bucks, Never mind. You look Signalis, there's a ton of Cosmic Horror in it. I love Cosmic Horror. It does look pretty neat. It looks like a resource management game, which I kind of like. Oh, yeah. No, this could be really cool. If I can find it and, and pick it up for cheap, we'll do it. Miles is just very, very poor right now. Miles has no job and lots of expenses. Oh, we got it. There is a dive. Okay, cool. What? I hate that. I hate that so much. Oh my god, I hate that. do that part how do i do this part i can't get up the beach slack this demo is free on stream with link you but uh, you're not in the ox as internet is so bad it doesn't justify the effort of joining <laughs> that's awful um even if it is does our free demo like it's a moot point if it's cost money right now for me because that's just the way it is I, I literally have a zero budget for recreation right now. Hopefully I find a job soon and that will change. study this here see how we can get over there so there's a big fish that wants to eat us over there we just need enough charge to charge up the little thing out front maybe we need an upgrade in order to do that is that what you think we need to do for anybody who's played this game before do i need an upgrade in order to go and finish this little middle section here or am I just missing something? for something hopefully remote i have a degree in business management and uh i'd like to start working in the games industry but i get it that's not a possibility i have a little bit of experience in analysis power bi that sort of stuff i've done a lot of process and proven work i've done work as a manager uh if you're seriously think or if you're seriously considering helping me out i, I don't mind forwarding you my resume i'm in the ox so if you look me up i can send you that information
What do we do here, chat? I feel like... I feel like there's something we could do. Because there's no, there's no little blue orb powered up nearby, so I can't charge this. It doesn't seem to be any sort of platform that I can grab over there, and there's a big fish that wants to eat me over there. Maybe I need to grab the wave rider and do something with that? I'm not sure. You think later in the game you can do this? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Oh, this game is a day-night cycle? That's pretty neat. similar background I never did management uh, I manage about 400 people I had a, a like a direct team of 80 or so but I had to manage like over 400 later on in that experience and I don't recommend it especially if it's for a company that has a loose sense of ethics and morals there's a reason why I'm no longer in that job and it's because I have a I have a little bit of self-respect. <laughs> hey, Kai, how's it going, buddy? Playing some Jack and Daxter. Joining ourselves actually quite a lot. It's been a blast, literally. Citibank, so I know the whole thing of working for a corporate entity that has no sense of ethics or morals. Yeah, Citibank for you. I have a Citibank credit card, and I take advantage of it as much as I can. Oh, hey, All right, dudes. you're on Mystic Island. Did you find my muse yet? Nope. You did not. We got the one from uh, the, the lady, right? 90 orbs to uncle and mayor, and then 120 to the oracle twice. So that's 240 plus 180. That's a lot. Just got in, managed to finish work early. I can't complain all too much. Now to work on Aiden's project a bit. Heck yeah, glad you're enjoying yourself, Miles. Everyone here doing well today, I hope? They are, they are doing well. I'm going to speak for them because this is a toxic relationship. I see you two are back to make the trade. Good, good, jolly good. Hey, you have the uh, precursor orbs that we agreed on? I hope you put this hard-earned power cell to good use. Cheerio, Tata, bye-bye. Cheerio indeed, Uncle. And Jack is like a total jock character. Like, look at him. Like, he, he's got that jock, like, <laughs> I do football, bro, sort of vibe to him. He's the kind of guy that, like, you do a one-night stand with and then you can completely forget about. Hey, Fez, how you doing? <laughs> what a wonderful sight. I thank you. An entire village like me. Uh, boys, you have restored power to the village and guaranteed my re-election. And for that, my boy, you earned a power. Jack is the type to go out for an early morning run on a Saturday, making everybody else feel inadequate. No, he's, he's the type. He's the type to go out for an early morning run on Saturday and not wear headphones and just blast their music. And so like every single household that he walks by gets woken up from it. As he's like going for his run because he wants everybody to know that he's going for a run on Saturday. So uh, you uh, want to make a contribution? Good. Uh, a sizable one, I hope. <laughs> You're definitely that guy? Oh, Fuck you then. A sizable <laughs> contribution. I, well, 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 I, I just hope this power cell adequately represents my gratitude. Especially when you're drunk. Being jobless, I have not been able to afford alcohol, and that's that's totally okay with me. 
I, uh, I've been trying to lose weight too, and when I drink, I really struggle to lose Good. the pounds. You collected enough power cells to fuel my heat shield. Meet me by the entrance to the fire canyon by climbing the cliff behind the farmer's house. Bring the power cells and hurry. My father says he's seen more lurkers around. Yeah, City Bank is literally a mega corp in all the ways that relates to, to Stubby and Sci Fi. Yep. They're, they're exactly like a, a BlackRock style company where they just try to like scoop up everything that they can to control people's lives. It's a lot of fun. You would drink then go on 10 mile runs? Okay, fucking mad lad. Oh my god. Alright, should we go to fire area or should we go to Misty Island first? I feel like Misty Island is endgame area, but at the same time, I kind of want to go there because we've unlocked the way to go and the game has said we can. And mile runs. Drunk. You must be in, like, peak physical condition, my man. I can barely run a mile right now without screwing up. And at my peak, I could do, like, three, and then I was, like, tapped. Oh wow, we're already here. That was pretty quick. This area is spooky. Ooh, this place gives me the creeps. And trust me, it's a whole new experience when you're covered in cuts. Not anymore. My injuries from the military are kind of <laughs> catching up. Yeah. That's one of the reasons why I never recommend people join the military because they just like really just use you up. Under the teeter -totter. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> this game kicks all kind of ass. I agree with you, Lord. I'm having a lot of fun. Lord new eight skills. <laughs> it's an interesting name you've got. Hello, big man. Yeah, those are the kind of guys that take two hits to take out. I know the type. Is that quicksand? Yep. <laughs> oh, gosh. Turn on. I'm trying to sneak up on this man, but the sound of my bare feet. We need Blue Rico to charge this platform up. You can call me Sonar. S O N A R. All right, Sonar. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. Fall into the mist below us, cause I don't think we'll make it back. Spoilers, Sonar. Spoilers. Uh, I don't know if there is any. Uh, I don't know if there is any badass gun, but I'm just starting out. Also, I'm blind. I don't know this game at all. That eco makes your attack stronger. Can't do even a mile run after breaking a big toe. My area being nothing but hills does not help. No, I'd imagine that it does not at all. Hard to condition yourself to go out for a run when like, oh! Wow, the game just killed us. Like, brutally murdered us. Holy crap. Yeah, hard to condition yourself to go for a run when it's just all hills, because hills suck. Like, running on flat land is so much easier than running on a hill. Like, if I was going to motivate myself to go out for a run, it would have to be on mostly flat land, because just knowing that I'd, I would have to um, I see the run news. up or down a hill, or even, like, walk after, would, would really suck. Get back here! Oh. This reminds me of that dude from Spyro, the little little uh, ash bone thing we have to go and chase after. Or like the little egg thieves. Y'all remember the egg thieves from Spyro? I feel like I'm missing on a bunch of collectibles because I'm chasing this thing. Look how he cheers. He's like, yeah, I did it. Fuck you. I need to utilize the rolly strats, I think. Oh, 
We haven't looped yet, so I know at least that... Uh... Oh, we're gonna miss those for right now. Oh, well. Back here! You little... Little, little... Okay, we just looped. You roll in heavy punch to launch yourself pretty far. Uh, no, you you roll in uh, you roll in jump. Oh, that's really good. That's really really good. I'm gonna use that so often. Oh, look at that area. Look at that spooky boy. Finish up this area first. There's less than 50 feet of flat land in any half mile direction around where I live. Yeah, that's when you have to invest in like a treadmill or something. No, don't jump in the horse show. Okay, we made it. It's this way. Nothing? Yeah, nothing. And then we're back up here, and then I don't think there's anything else to grab here. Oh, Misty Island has a lot. Jump into that shit, embrace the dodo? <laughs> I don't know about that. We've already gotten ourselves killed enough over here, I think. All right, let's, uh... Oh, that's so cool that you can see, like... Kind of like the playable area over there. I like that a lot. No, let me up. Oh yeah, now I feel like a master of this game. Let me go. <laughs> What's down here? Who are you? What is this? Lit? Let's plow into those balloon workers and shred them! Lit? That's kind of cool. Can I... Oh, that's like a brake. Brake system. Nice, cool. Interesting. I feel like I'm playing that Wave Rider game for the PS2 now. Into the heavens, indeed. have to be careful with it. Okay, cool. Oops. I missed that one. Did Jet Moto even get an installment on the PS2? Hmm. No, 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 it wasn't called Jet Moto. It was, um... I think they actually have it on here. What? One second, we're gonna check. Bloop, 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 bloop. PlayStation Plus. It was in the Classics catalog, I believe. Um... About the classics catalog. View the games. Was it? It was like Jet Jet Rider or like Wave Rider or something. Um, Wipeout. That's what it was. This game. Oh no, it wasn't. Never mind. This is not the game that I was thinking of. 
Oh well, never mind. Wave race? Maybe. The only racing game that I liked as a kid was uh, Burnout, because you could like break open the other cars and stuff, and that was neat. No, I missed again. Hydra Thunder? I think maybe. I guess PlayStation's a very own F Zero franchise and equally abandoned. So true. This thing is really hard to control. Oh my gosh. Your favorite for the PS1 was Red as well? I've never heard of that. I think we're just gonna go slow at it because it's like literally right there. Let's go. There we go. You know, for being a like really mysterious evil misty island, this area is very tame. Seems more like a vacation spot, you know what I'm saying? Play the hell out of Most Wanted and Carbon on the PS2. Yeah, I remember Most Wanted because it was like, you gotta get your pink slip back for your BMW. Ah, uh, we have to go with that at full speed, huh? Most Wanted 2018, my heart. I know, man. Like, beating up all the police cars and, uh, and like, Getting back your your car one one souped up vehicle at a time. Now where is that last dude? Right there. We're just gonna have to watch him. Like the hunter. Just gonna have to wait for him. Underground 2 is fire too? Uh, how was the, it, like, how did that game vary from Most Wanted? Because I had always had a conception that the other, um, Need for Speed games were kind of mid. I said, tread the lurkers, Jack. You 100% cleared F0X on the N64. It kind of makes me wish that I had those Nintendo consoles back in the day. We were drive playing Gran Turismo 3 fun times. I didn't realize there was that detail that you could learn how to drive. Good! You stopped all the mind dropping lurkers! They've been threatening the waters around our village for weeks. Bring your zoomer back to the chance pad and I'll teleport it back. Underground and Underground 2 were both great games. Carbon, not so much. Yeah, I think I remember playing Carbon and it being not that great. Including their take on Rainbow Road dialed up to 13. That sounds lit. On 360, Midnight Club LA was my thing. <laughs> Ah. Uh, learn to drive from Gran Turismo 2, 3, 4. Which game would you say uh, gave you the most driving experience? Also, by learn to drive, do you mean like actually learning to drive or do you mean like learning to race and like drive your car wrong? <laughs> Wife appreciates it less <laughs> or easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. F Zero X is fantastic when I used to smoke with my Zen Zone. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. I've, I've always been tempted to like try a nicotine patch, but they're so fucking expensive that I was never going to because I like read some article by some rich asshole that was like, yeah, nicotine can like do really good for you if your brain's done developing and like for focus and stuff. But I'm like, mm, I don't know about that. Oh no, the big fish is in this water and I think I'm gonna get gulped up. I think he's gonna gulp me up, chat. I think I'm in danger. Oh, jeez. Well, I learned to drive the license in three more, more details. Oh, uh, you mean Marilyn in the other one? Got gotcha. you. I can't really smoke anything because my lungs are not good from uh from many many years of secondhand smoke <laughs> as it do uh, there was something up there right that we missed and we fell down what a wonderful selection of cars and all of them were accurately enough modeled to actually enjoy pl uh, pleasure driving them and simulation tires oh it's pretty neat i think we well 
For simulation that Jeremy Clarkson gave in rave reviews on Top Gear. I see, so it was it was the cultured man's car simulation game, was it? For the men of culture and pump. <laughs> Too bad I'm not into cars. Oh, uh, we just killed ourselves. I'm like uh, stretcher! Oh, you can jump down here. Okay, cool. Good to know. This is the closest you'll ever come to driving a Zonda. Is that like a, a mix between something that starts with a Z and a Honda? I love my Honda, by the way. I have a nice little Honda. Um, very reliable vehicle. It's got 150 mile, uh, 50k miles on it and no, no issues whatsoever. It's still a little bit of a junker, but that's okay. Oh, what, that hit me? Shoot. How do I do this? I like that this area is so much of a feature of the map that they even have different music for it. We're dead. Go away. No, it's its own thing. It's a Lamborghini on crack. Oh, okay. I hate that thing so much. I hate water things, like big water things that can gobble you up. I hate it. I hate it so much. Banjo Kazooie PTSD triggered, yes, indeed. short pier oh well, like actually legit there's something down there okay good enough play Subnautica if you hate big sea creatures. Okay, so story time. I did play Subnautica and I hated every single minute of it. I wanted to play Subnautica co-op because they have the co-op mod for it, but then the person who was going to play Subnautica with me was, was, was like not available, so I didn't actually do it, so I just played a little bit on my own and oh my god, I hated it so much. I see stuff like Subnautica brings up the Captain Ahab in me. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. Like, once you die a couple times, it's like, it's not as big of a deal because you know, like, oh man, you're just going to respawn and then you're like... I see you, you big freaking leviathan creature over there. I'm gonna bring out my spear and I'm gonna get ya. Or even worse, I'm gonna grab out my diving knife and I'm gonna cut ya into little pieces. I feel you. 200% I feel you. Is there nothing of note up here? Besides this cannon? And that little orb down there, I'm guessing? Oh, here we go. Power launch. Speaking of, I could go I for a tuna fish right about now. I'm impressed. You two didn't screw up. Now that the lurkers can't open that silo, they can't flood the world with dark eco and cause untold destruction. Wipe that ridiculous grin off your face, Daxter. The two of you have plenty to do. Get on with it. Why is he so abusive? Get some! Get some! <laughs> Why is the 
why is there so much variation on that? Like, I want to just fire it at the, the box so it can open. Am I never going to get those collectibles now? This is so sad. How do I exit this? Okay. I'm never going to get those collectibles now. We've lost them forever. So how do I get down there? I'm just going to try to go for it. The big fish is going to eat me. No! Accepted my fate. Time to do the log jumpy puzzle again. Oh, cool. That was a nice little skip. See a dip, chumma? I don't. Like jump over this side. Let's do it. It's an ambush, Jack. It's what? an ambush. An ambush. Get the red eagle. I got this, boys. strong enough to break those little boxes? It doesn't. Fuck. Oh, we are dead. I'll say something really teary at the funeral. Oh, cool. Wait. I like how it's nighttime now. Oh, I agree. Get changed back now? Wait, that implies he's escaping the short? Oh, no. Shark. Yeah, I don't know how he would escape the shark in that moment. Oh. He fell. I think we just go around the island. I feel like there's probably an alternate way to... No, there's not an alternate way, is there? I think that's the way we gotta go. Don't forget your spin attack. Oh, that's a good point. I was forgetting my spin attack. But it looks like we will not. The only way to escape the shark is to get close to land. Fast swimming helps. Shark is invincible. I don't have fast swimming. I am on this island uh, without any upgrades. Because I am a silly goose. Also, welcome in. Spazzy whack job. I only used to patches as I realized I was eventually using the gum as a stimulant even though I'm not smoked in around six months. Yeah, that's my problem is I have a very addictive personality and I absolutely just use those recreationally in ways that you probably shouldn't. He gets pulled out the shork. Indeed, he does get pulled out the shork. Okay, let's try this again. Probably gonna fail because we don't have upgrade, but you know. Can't recommend using them for focus. Oh, uh, I see. And they probably would not work out very well for me. Because that's what I would need them for. Spin! Spin two! Never stop! Oh shit. Okay. There are no upgrades? Other than the ecos? Okay. How do I do fast swimming then?
do wish that the game did is I wish the game uh, told you a little bit more about the abilities that you can do. I do like organically discovering them, but I wish they had more opportunities for me to organically discover them, if that makes any sense. Uh, okay, we're, we're capped at 50, got it. Let's go back down into the arena. What's in it, boss Jack? time. Oh my gosh, I'm surprised they can animate that many of them. There's still the time of the game manual, so I think the part of the learning experience would be being able to check the controls using the manual. It makes sense. That is a very good point. Just using patches or gum outside of intended use. Well, given that the intended use is like as a calming agent, I guess, then like I don't know. I feel like it's too addictive to really use in general. Which is why I do not. Okay, so like how do we get these little boxes then? I guess we literally cannot, huh? It's okay. Get out of here. We didn't open these doors the proper way, I don't think, so. Oh, they just opened for us. Okay, neat. Very good. These little suckers. I don't have enough energy to get to them. Nicotine this class is a narcotic, which is why I quit smoking in the first place. Yeah. Oh, they do, they do, they glow. Oh no, how are we gonna do this? them. What? Oh, I want to collect them all in chat. I don't think we can, though. I was thinking that was maybe a platform we can go on, but it's not. Oh, maybe we can like build up, because I see multiple, multiple pickups for that. Is this going towards the start of the level again? The game hates us. The game wants us dead. Real quick, chat. I have to use the restroom. I'll be right back.
All right, chat. We're doing. Oh, we almost have enough to uh, to cash in all of our stuff with the totem dude. And we're 25% of the way done with the game. That's crazy. I don't think we're gonna have enough essence to, to do that properly. Yeah, that's like the start of the game. Or rather the start of the level. How do we get up? Oh no. I think we go the other way. And where's this area? Oh, I see. I know where this area is. We gotta go over there and grab uh, that thing off the log. Um, that's such a silly way to cross that. Uh, is that one of those things that we break? Like this? And then we have like a little... Yeah, and then we have a bridge to cross. Okay, that makes more sense than crossing it like this. gather up the stuff and then we can hit that to grab the rocks right is there more than one pickup nearby uh, i don't think so this might be tough ah we did it Neat. break the bone to make a bridge yeah we got it Took us a minute, but we got it. Man, where are those big boss dudes? We haven't uh, we haven't seen them around. The ones that were like, ah, yes, we will attack the island soon. Looks like there's more collectibles down there to grab. Ah, oh, we just juked those guys. No! Okay, we didn't die. Oh, we're about to, though. There's no way we make it back up. How too fast to swim. Clearly they haven't been taking their exam, TM. Agree. Neither have I. I haven't been taking my Zim Zam. Indeed. 
to imagine that this is how you're supposed to get over there, and I just, like, screwed it up. I gotta use my Yodi time properly. Not use it properly. You're gonna get eaten by the fish again. Fish. Maybe that's not the way that we do that. Maybe we have to do that a different way. Maybe Miles shouldn't keep smashing his head into things like it's a big brick wall. Oh my god, I did it again. Well, we can get back on this and grab those few rocks. Check the other side of the bridge. What you need to use the roll jump to get to that ledge. You're so smart! You are so much smarter than me. Totally right. I bet you, you do need to use the roll jump to get to that ledge. A way to avoid the fish. Jump gives you slightly more distance than double double jumping. Yeah, okay. We'll try that. Oops. Surprised? She didn't figure that out first. Looks like we can make that. You can get there without a roll jump? Oh, I'm assuming that it's from the other side, right? That makes sense, but now that Miles knows that Miles can get up there, Miles has to do it this way because Miles is a thick-headed idiot. jump up to from the other side? Yeah, I bet. I bet you can. But, uh, I bet you can also do this. <laughs> oh, bah. Oh, bah. Oh, gosh. Do a little bit of trolling here, chat. If I, if by us, I mean the freaking game. And indeed, indeed, Bordy, indeed. Also, welcome in. Hello. There he is. Your suffering gives me great pleasure. Well, I, I am happy. I'm happy to please. That's what I'm here for. Screw you, nerd. How many is this? Six? We need one more of those? Okay. I wonder where the last one is. This is a maze and a half, but I don't like it. Is it bad to eat a packet jerky at a time? I mean, I don't know how much money you have it in your have in your wallet, because packet jerky is expensive as hell. For like the price. Also, like I would say that 16 ounces of jerky. Like if you ate an entire pound of jerky every single day, that would probably be bad for you. But like if you're just eating a little bit. 
you know, as a treat. Are you doing it one time? I would say that you're fine. Personally. Ah, oh, that's how we get there. We have to charge that thing up. Okay, we can do that. two to do it okay whoa whoa these are just 100 gram packets i wish i could get a pound of jerky in order to get a pound of jerky one must make it themselves in this day and age you must, you must learn the sacred jerky making arts You can make your own. Chernikov is correct. Alright. How many are left in this island? We've gotten every one except for two, I think. But the f we haven't found the muse yet, and we haven't found the last uh, spy thing. Is the muse? I feel like we've explored all of this island, and we still haven't found the muse. that guy up potentially like down here somewhere have the muse oh okay i didn't realize so we just need to find the last spy copter thing and then we'll be good we'll be golden Spycopter thing. It's all we need to win. All we need to complete this island. How many orbs are you missing? Two. Just the spy copter thing? And, um, and returning the muse. That's it. that one you kept the 16 ounce, ounce bag of jerky in my locker at work for over two months taste of nothing but liquid smoke but it has been a useful grazing item that's what i use them for they're for grazing we're like oh man i want protein like now 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 <laughs> in this area i think we've cleared out all the wave riding stuff so then where could it be i'm imagining it's in the like first area that we went through because we've explored this area pretty thoroughly somewhere in here and we just didn't explore enough because we were chasing that little weasel thing around our little golden daxter could be up there maybe i'm listening for it too I'm gonna see if I can hear it. 
Okay, I remember this area. Let's see. I don't see it. Is it like hidden somewhere? Like maybe behind like a combat thing? Or is it like on the beach maybe? I don't remember going out on the beach. Let's check out here. Oh, right. I forgot. Older now? Nope. In the open? How do you know where the last one is? Saw it when you were looking around after the sixth scout fly? Did I? I'm sure you do know where every scout fly is. It sounds like you're very knowledgeable about this game. Okay, we'll go back to the area that we were in before. Or maybe, uh... Look, that's a breaky bone. That man didn't take his exams. Oh, there it is. help whatsoever we found it Misty Island is complete. End game area complete. All right, game's over now, right, chat? Gotten everything that we needed. We we're gonna cross Firefly Canyon and be done. Owie. It wasn't very nice. Hurry up with those power cells. I'm waiting at the head of Fire Canyon at the top of the cliff behind I the power's house. I need to grab all of them, lady. Okay? All of them. All of them. All right, buddy. Oh, my muse! You saved her! Oh, you really are the best. Here, take this power cell. I won't need it now that I have my inspiration back. Don't talk to Kiri that way. Tell her not to talk to me that way. She's a little bit impatient for somebody that, uh, that needs a protagonist to progress the story for her. Or 
miracle. For your gift, another power cell is yours. Oh hell yeah, somebody playing Jack and Daxter. Hell yeah, brother. Welcome in, Zircon. How you doing, buddy? You have proven yourself worthy. Here is a power cell. Just 100% uh, in all these islands, including Misty Island, because we're based like that. Doing well, glad to hear it. I'm fast swimming now. Fast swimmer. All right, um, where's the way to the place? It's like over here, right? Or is it, uh, no, it's over here. There's like a little pathway behind this guy's house. Yeah, yeah, yeah right here. Hello. Great! You have the 20 cells needed to power my heat shield. Now be careful. The shield will only protect your zoomer till it reaches 500 degrees. So try to keep her cool. Flying over open lava will definitely heat you up fast. Hit 500 degrees and it's over. Over? Like burning molten metal over? The fire canyon gets pretty hot. So keep a lookout for jumps to keep you off the hot ground. I've also released several blue cooling balloons you can use to drop the shield's temperature quickly. Oh, and when you get across, don't forget to activate the teleport gate in the Blue Sage's lab. Then we'll be able to teleport over and meet you. Good luck! 2021, I played through all the PS2 Jack, Ratchet, and Sly games. This is a big retrospective. This took me 12 hours to 100%. Makes sense. It's crazy. Ashley for the win? I don't know who that is. I'm sorry, did Ashley make a jet board or zoomers? I don't know who that is. All right, let's do this. Hit those balloons to cool off. Whoa, what the hell? There's scout flies out here, too. Woo, see if we can catch air on those workers. I've made mistakes. Yeah, the vehicles or the controls in this game suck. They're honestly not too bad. Like, I prefer a vehicle that has a lot of momentum to it rather than one that doesn't. Oops. I'm really curious what those little pads are. I'd like to be able to use those. salvage that wait so you get the precursor base and then you have a sing in a different tune we'll see about that we'll see about that now I'm gonna like it just to smite you <laughs> they train with weights here? Weighted leggings? <laughs> it's 
area looks kind of neat. I feel like Captain Hook with the big fish going around doing stuff, you know what I mean? Oh, this guy's abandoned his place. It's trashed. Whoa! I don't think I'll ever get used to that teleporter tingling sensation. Hey! It looks like the Blue Sage threw a party. Oh my! Rock Village is on fire! One heck of a party. No, no, I mean Rock Village is being bombarded with flaming boulders. Only I oh, could get bombarded with flaming like boulders. The Blue Sage is working on a levitation machine to move them. Assuming it's operational, we're gonna need power cells to fuel it. I guess you two are going to have to find some more. We'd better take a look at his notes. Jack, go check on the villagers. Then come back and give us an update. And take the fur ball with you. Why wouldn't I take the fur ball with me? Well, the situation here stinks worse than a lurker's armpit. Before Blue Sage's disappearance, he journaled significant trouble in all of the surrounding areas. Of particular interest to me is the dark eco infection of some innocent plants in the Precursor Basin. Kira will teleport your egg grab zoomer to the nearest transpad. Ride the zoomer to a green eco vent, and then carry the green eco to the corrupted plants. That should heal them. Don't miss a single plant, or the infected ones will slowly reinfect the healthy ones. Right. And Daxter, start cleaning up in here. And don't forget the corners. Are you Kira? Apparently, the precursor structure just off the coast leads to an underwater lost city. The Blue Sage has been trying to figure out how he can bring one of the chambers to the surface, but he was never successful. You should check it out. Uh, aren't there a lot of uh, lurker sharks in that water? Why? Are you scared? Yes. Hey, of course not. Just looking out for Jack here. You, uh, I don't know what a chicken he can be. Well, if you swim out over the coral reef, I doubt the lurker sharks will bother you. They don't like shallow water. Okay. Mm. Let's go. something up there it's not until we find out why the blue sage disappeared you're going to need to collect 45 power cells to fuel his machine beware of the dark light for it has twisted the fate of one of you bring me 120 precursor orbs for each power cell i contain i missed a fly i oh, know i got one i got the one from the the hut right was there another? Oh, there was another one. That's a good eye you have there. I indeed. I would have been missing that one for a while. Thank you very much. There's another one. Oh look, Precursor Basin. Am I gonna be changing my tune now? so far. Okay, that was a little bit bad. Like, don't, don't put the things on the jump on the wrong side, you know what I'm saying? That's one of those flying lurkers. He might have a power cell. Flying lurkers? What? 
Oh, this this boy? Let's get him. Let's get his ass. I'm almost on ya. I'm almost on ya. Says, just wait. Jet. Haha. <laughs> Did you drop a power cell? Did you drop it in a specific spot? So did we miss it? You have to get rid of all the flying lurkers. Oh, okay. One ring down, a bunch to go. Oh boy. I'll see, all right. All right. Let's grab this guy. Also, those squirrel things are part of a quest you didn't uh, talk to somebody to activate. Oh. Are you telling me the game is designed in a way that I could, like, not do things and then screw up? That's sad. Oh, why is the game lagging so much? Really unoptimized here. Let's go talk to whoever that person was, and then we'll come back. Is it this person? You two look like a couple of capable fellows. I've got a research project going, and maybe you could help me out. Hey, we're the ones on a big quest here. We ask you for help. Well, perhaps we can help each other. I've been studying the burrowing habits of lightning moles in the Precursor Basin next to our village for years. But now those awful lurkers have scared the moles to the surface. And since they're blind as bats, they can't find their way back underground. If you could herd them back into their burrowing tunnels, you might just save their lives. I've got a power cell that says you can do it. Yeah, lightning moles. We can. Maybe for two power cells. Nice try. But I would be willing to part with another power cell if you two find me 90 precursor orbs for my research equipment. Easy peasy, I already have it. Oh, you have the orbs. Here's a power cell we agreed upon. Ba -na -na -ba. All right, so what do we have to do with those things? I was only half paying attention to what she was saying. We have to scare them back into their burrows or something? Oh, I see. Okay, wow, this area is really laggy. Faster for those.
have to hit them all like super duper fast? Or... Oh, I see how it works. Okay. That's not too bad. spread out from the other ones so it's not too bad to just like them and then but it is a really small window to actually hit them all right we got this feels like those freaking egg things in Spyro. Those mess me up, man. I'm sorry, that's not fair. It's hard and it's clunky, but it's not actually too bad to do this stuff. The only thing that's bugging me is the frame rate drops from the lag. Because the, 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 the emulator clearly cannot handle this. The PlayStation 5 emulator. certain gaps you have to use the little hop to get more air oh like this that makes sense like a oh geez i saw that power cell over there we gotta grab that one oh no we missed it we gotta go back we gotta get the rocks Cadbury eggs. Very, very, very important that we get the Cadbury eggs. It's such a weird uh, sound effect for that. Yeah, I don't know. I got this thing. I got this thing piloted down. Figuring out what we're doing with it. your time you get the nice sleep ps5 controllers using the funky ps3 controller due to playing the ps3 trilogy port <laughs> maybe 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 i'm just that much of a gamer 
Have you thought about that, Zircon? Maybe I'm just like pro elite gamer. Where do these boys go? Do I have to catch them or? Oh no, I just throw them back in the hole. Okay, cool. Another one. This is, that is not the way to your hole, sir. That is in fact the opposite way to your hole. Go to your hole. That's not the way to your hole. There you go. Hey, you. Shh. Back here, nerd. That failed. You know, the unfortunate gamer handicap of being autistic. I don't think that has anything to do with it. What? Where'd you go? What? what are you doing? Come on, man. Oh, this is really laggy. Why don't you go into your hole? Also, are they like, coming out of their holes? I don't like that. I'm just gonna try to capture this guy first, I think. dead. Yeah, all the rocks. This guy thinks he's hot shit, but he's not shit. I'm a pro gamer. Catching up. Ain't nothing you gonna do. Ultimate zoomer. You need to go to your hole. Your hole is the goal. Stop leaving your hole. Return to your holes. <laughs> All right. Turn to your holes. That's not the right way. You ran right over it. Come on, man. I'm having more issues with these little red squirrel things than I am the, the mechanics for the zoomer. Like, where are you going? Oh my god, what? Please go into your hole. The fact that these little nitro boxes are around here really messes with me. It's... It's right there! Oh my lord. It's like herding cats, but slightly worse. Constantly be behind them to get them dead center on the hole. Yeah. That seems like it. There we go. All right. Just gotta be a little bit more. 
there we go. Let's go get our power cell from the geologist. Oh, we will once we go through that ring gate. Do you pay them? What does that mean? because I think this would be much harder to do if we didn't get all the rocks first and we were trying to like grab them while we we're doing this. Is this gonna throw us right in the nitro box? Okay, it didn't, good. I was about to be very upset with this game. All right, did we get all the ones in this area? Wait, there's three that we're missing? Oh, return to the geologist. Navigate the blue precursor rings. We're missing a scout fly and there's one that we haven't seen. Okay. Good job, not do it again, but harder. Okay. My guess is that the next one is going to be the same thing <laughs> with those guys. Maybe like through here, we gotta get through there or something. Uh, anyways, where is the blue precursor rings? Also, where's the last scout fly? Turn to the geologist really quick because I'm imagining that she's gonna like give us rewards and then be like, go do it again. Thank you for saving those moles. That's awfully good of you. Here's a power cell to help you out. Now I can get back to my research. A research, wistfully looking into the skies. Do you have another one for me? No, you don't. Okay, I guess we go back. So we gotta find out what we were missing. What's crazy is those people are humans, even with the giant ears. I don't know, man. It's mighty heretical of you to say. Now, what were we missing? Oh, there's the blue precursor ring. I'll seize it. I'll seize it, I do. And we're also missing the scout fly, and we're missing one that we haven't even seen. Tell him to talk to one of the magnates last pass in the basin. Okay, thank you. And I'm guessing that's also gonna be the area where we get the last scout fly, so I'll uh I will consider this. Let's go do this last ring thing. The vibration is kind of messing with me. It's a little bit too much for my hands. Assuming we go this way. Oh, there it is. Rocking on. Hurry! There's the next ring! Yeah. 
Sorry, what? How am I supposed to get that? Turn off vibrations, it's really messing with me. That's better. Oh, that's so much better. Especially don't know. Uh. Alright, let's try that again. This thing does require a decent amount of concentration. Alright, let's see what we can do. I think we got this this time. Hated these parts as a kid. I bet. It requires a lot of really fine motor control. That, like, being a child, it's just like, really hard to have developed. for a game that came out in 2001 and the sequels look even better somehow. Yeah, man, people, like, people knew how to, like, really get everything that they possibly could out of the graphics engines and these things. It's insane. Like, I can still see things popping in, but, like, oh, no, we accidentally got off the freaking thing. Oh, man. It's not what we wanted to do. Get back on. Silly. The game always looks great. The music isn't bad either. Yeah, I agree. It's not bad, but it's also not great. It's like middling music, I would say. It's sufficient. I enjoy the fact that these little challenges are actually kind of challenging and not just like, ah yes, here's another thing that you're going to do, and um, 
It's going to be very easy. Just follow the hoots and do the thing. Like, there's no hand-holding here. It's like, now you're gonna have to do some pretty technical, difficult stuff to actually get this challenge done, so good luck. Doing that next to that, uh, the get-off point is really silly, though. I don't like that at all. It's creative. It's really thinking about out of the box of, like, things that are hazardous for the area, but... Oh, God. Back when you could make a good game in only a year or two. Now it's more like three to five years, and even in the game, quality varies wildly. Yes, agree. Also, I read your message, and it made me fall, and now I am sad because I thought that I could read your message and not fall, but I was not able to do that. I was actually going to fall. It's not a fantastic event, but it also grants you some learned skill at the controls if you have to repeat it multiple times. Exactly. It gives you some, like, hey, this is how you pilot this thing. You know, let's test your knowledge on it. We made this wacky little physics simulator. And try it out. Now this, this is pod racing. This is ten times better than that pod racing event in Lego Star Wars or whatever that had you trying to like gather up everything that you possibly could in one go. That was that was a really bad challenge in my opinion. Let's see if we can do this right this time. There we go. That was better. How many more left? Oh my gosh, we're still going? Where's the last one? What the hell? cheap did all that and then it's like oh yeah you know the like rules of the game that you're following where the next one is going to be in visual range we're not gonna have that happen again we're gonna have to make you look for it Geography in a way you wouldn't have expected to. Words are hard, chat. This is that point where you get so good at it because you've done it so many times and the game just screws you over like that. You're like, fine, screw you. I'm just going to do it right the first time. never expected it to be behind us. That's pretty cheap. Okay. That's fine. We got it this time. Yeah, now I know how to freaking pilot this thing. Nothing's gonna stop me now. Not even the frame drops in this area being really hard to load. Makes you pull a donut at the very end? Yeah, it's not fun. Oh, I messed that jump up because I was reading chat. Sad days. Not behind you, you just need to make a hard right. My, yeah, but the problem with it is that, um, is that it, uh, it doesn't actually show you that that's where it's showing up. You know what I'm saying? So you don't know you have to make a hard right until you, like, see it later. Do it a couple times in order to get it. I 
which I don't like playing guessing games with these kind of challenges. Uh, I'm not gonna read that message hidden boss because it sounds like you're gonna talk about spoilers and I don't wanna hear any spoilers for this game. I, I saw a post ending thing and that's about it. So I'm just gonna let that message fly on by. I am completely blind to this game. I've never played it before. I don't know anything about it. And I don't want to try to avoid those spoilers. There you go. And then jump. Oh, sorry. I didn't know you haven't played this game. Yeah, that's fine. No worries. I can't set up tags. So it's not like I can be like blind playthrough, no spoilers, etc. I do not know how to do it without, uh, without access to the, the stream dashboard thing. Come on. Here we go. Alright. Right. Then back this way or forward this way? Forward this way, okay. sections it has to be your first play through well there you go i don't hate the zoomer sections i got the blues i got the blue precursor blues i'd say that wasn't too bad completely done except for the one quest that we have to come back for later oh it feels so weird to be this slow now know what i mean you're in for a treat jack and daxter also has a crossover with ratchet and clank oh neat i didn't realize that i've never actually played ratchet and clank either so oh those rocks are hot okay good to know hot rock Hot rock. I'm not a lizard. I'm sad. Oh, my aching head. I thought that's one of your vital organs. Walk it off, tough guy. Oh, sure, I was tough once. Maybe even the toughest of them all. I single handedly defended this village from those horrid creatures for almost a year. Then that horrible monster arrived and commenced the Boulder Bombardment. So, full of valor, armor shining in the sun, I climbed the hill to take him on. But he pounded me like one tenderizes a yakow steak. Oh, he Are got you pounded, huh? Are him with your melodrama? Cause it's killing me! After my last stunning failure, he sealed the passageway to his roost with a 30-ton bull leaving no way for anyone to challenge him again. So, our sage, a master of blue eco, and a mechanical genius, devised a machine capable of lifting the boulder out of the way. But alas, he disappeared before we had a chance to turn it on. And he took all of his power cells with him. At least I was able to pull enough pontoons out of our bridge to prevent that monster from coming down here to do me harm. Yeah, good, good job, tough guy. But um, we're, we're gonna need you to uh, put him back and stuff. Oh, sure. And seal my doom? <sighs> All right. Fine. Bring me 90 precursor orbs and I'll let the pontoons loose. But I'm not going to fight that monster again. We will do. It. So we're the protagonists. All right, we'll trade that to him in a minute. Um. Dag says, 
Ratchet and Clank was good, at least for the first few entries. <laughs> what? You don't play Ratchet and Clank? No, I've never played it before. But I also says, <laughs> Next thing you're gonna tell me you never played Sly Cooper? I did play Sly Cooper. Sly Cooper was a good series. Happy Diggs Day. Happy Diggs Day! Discount Kronk for sure. That swishy helmet and the hairy ball cannon. Yes, this, this game is clearly iconic. All right. Uh, let's pay this guy to, to do the thing. Oh, wonderful. Agree, hidden boss. The precursor orders. All right, I'll fix the bridge. But don't ask me to get involved with that creature again. Love the overacting here. <laughs> Oh, one, two, and three were good for Ratchet and Clank. I was talking about Sly Cooper. <laughs> oh, hey, look, another person. Oh, no, not another hero. I lost my shorts on this so called hero's big fight against the monster up there. But trust me, the smart money's on the monster. That way, you pretty much tap me out. So, I got a proposal. Bring me 90 orbs to get me back on my feet and out of this barrel, and I'll give you a power cell in return. And if you're game, I do have one more bet online. My big comeback. Beat the record time racing Dead Man's Gorge in the Precursor Basin, and I'll get a pretty payoff. For that, I'll give you another power cell. Deal. <laughs> Whoa, yeah! These orbs will help me win my way back out of this barrel. Here's the power cell, I promise. <laughs> Sly 1 does have the benefit of being very short, that's true. Never liked 1 and 2, but 3 is where Sly found itself. I kind of agree with you there, but then, you know, it kind of didn't find itself again. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Thieves in Time or whatever it was, it didn't seem to really take the cake as well. You don't know where he was keeping that cell? You don't want to know. seconds too. Oh yeah, the sign plot? Yeah. Sly, Jack, and Ratchet all released within a year. 2002 was a good year for gaming. BBG, out of the blue. True. Uh, where am I going? It's the, uh, the start to this. Is it back this way? I think so. Uh, it was like this way, right? It's gonna be like on the other side of this wall. Yeah, here it is. Okay, let's try again. Halo 1, Metal Gear Solid 2, and the first Kingdom Hearts also released around that time. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts, that was the shit, man. Does that actually make this go faster in this thing? It doesn't seem like it does. It just breaks stuff. Not really important. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, game. All right, we got this this time for sure. It's so laggy though. It's really difficult. Whoa, we got 
some air on that guy. Yes, the blue eco does make you go faster. Oh well. You didn't need it. So, which way do we go first? Oh, that looks like an area that will kill us. I don't think that's the area we go. The action actually used a lot of weird programming tricks to run. Emulating it has always been tricky, and even original hardware has that issue. Yeah, I would, I'm not surprised by that at all. Oh my gosh, he's, he's like really traumatized by that, eh? over here I see I bet no one can oh great moves kid I knew that time record would fall now here's your power cell and I can go collect my big payoff speedy fast that we are we are speedy fast I was thinking that it could like come up here and I was like, oh no. I am very, very glad that is not the case. Oh wait, is this the way to like the end? Yeah, it is. Hold on a minute. We gotta go out to the island first, I think. Somebody's making some like noodles with uh, like uh, white sauce in my apartment. It smells pretty dang good. It's like some chicken alfredo or something. No going into the water for me, please. There are dangerous things there that I don't like. You forgot to talk to Barrel Man again? No, I talked to him. He gave me the, he gave me the second power orb, right? Lost Precursor City. <laughs> This area looks cool. Ooh, and we can go in here. Interesting. time and he gave me the orb. I 
I'm dying. I am dead. What the hell are you? Oh, I see. That's what you gotta do, and then you gotta... Okay, cool. Eat. I am bad at this game. So this area is going to really test your platforming skills, timing, and puzzle solving. Yep, seems like it. Too, but that's because I like patients due to ADHD brain. Sometimes that's how it goes. Oh god. It's like a getting over it with Benny Foddy. Nerd. All right, how do I get up? I am ir irritated, schmirritated. Do I just have to kill myself to get back up? That's a little bit of a shame. Wait, do these things hurt when you touch them? They look like they do. Yep. Okay. way back up you just missed it that is how I do you grab those things Let's see oh there it is no okay we didn't die all right time to be patient patience patience Patience. Patience. supposed to know that that asshole is going to pop up. Jeez Louise, school. <laughs> what I've known, school. He almost fell. That wouldn't have been good. Good boy. 
double check there's nothing in there. Cool. Thanks for the follow, Zircon. Happy to have you here. So, uh, you, you might not have realized, but this is like a radio broadcast channel. So we have a bunch of different shows that happen all throughout the week with a bunch of different really cool, awesome people. Uh, so feel free to stick around for their shows. We've got our schedule up, I believe, uh, right below us in the little Twitch area. Um, also, if you like my stuff, feel free to give my personal channel a follow. It's in the title. Um, so you just click on that. Throw me a follow. I'm trying to get my way to Twitch affiliate, slowly but surely. Let's see how it works. Oh, I like that puzzle. That's a cool pretty little platform thing. Yo, and a tier one subscription from Night Owl. Supremely generous all the time. Very much appreciated, Night Owl. Wait, what? Did I mess this up? Hello. Hello, motherfucker. Yes, you've been equipped with your tactical underoos, sir. May you use them well. What is down there? Oh, just a boy? Is there nothing else? I gotta go down there and find out myself. There we go. The ad repellent tactical underoos. Oh, the platform's reset for us. That's nice. I'm sorry, what? go through it <laughs> the other way around that'd be a little bit unfortunate oh puzzles and the puzzles will unlock those things that's neat that's kind of neat chat okay let's give this area a little look around eh? let's see what we got going on First things first, I grab the little the little Cadbury eggs. Supremely important to grab our little Cadbury eggs. Oh, what's that? What's this? What's this? Try to go over there and see what's up over there. I just realized Vegeta's probably looking at Jack like, Stole my do! Yeah, I wish I could do a Vegeta voice. I'm not very good at that though. Oh no. I don't like this room. We're gonna turn into a weasel at this rate. This is progressing further than we should right now. I feel like we need to go back to this room. My gamer senses are telling me I need to go here. Yes, Kikarot. I can do old Vegeta voice. I can't do Chris Sabbath's Vegeta. Chris Sabbath is a god among men, as well as Lanny. Lanny's really good. Interesting. 
so in order to get that we have to grab this little circuit thing down here and make our way up there fast enough let's see if we can do that there's no way even going full speed, I couldn't get up there fast enough. Daxter's in Otzel, actually, because the game's universe is like Avatar, where all the animals are crosses of two. I like that. This is an otter and a weasel. That's neat. All right, that's clearly not the way that we need to do this, so let's... Here we're the old flipper Rudy back on over here. Looks like enough. Yeah, we grab those two and then grab that other one. Yeah, that should be enough to get up. Let me down. No, just let me down, please. Okay, whatever. We're just gonna wait for this to run out. shocked for our troubles isn't that fun no okay so note to self we have to actually time this Classic, I agree, Habs. Thank you for your entire year of subbing. That's a lot of subs, man. Very much appreciated. Glad to have you hanging around. Oh, we're gonna miss it again because we missed the timing window on this. Yep, almost guaranteed. Yep. It's a puku for it. All the way back here? What? It's far. Some pants, can't wear Daisy Duke. So true, Basti. Can't be Walter Whiten it up in this B forever, you know what I mean? I won't see God damn it, Napa! I had a co-worker at a warehouse job after he dropped a pallet with over a ton of sand. Well, I think that was justified. That's a lot of sand. Come on. Don't miss it again. Yeah, we did it. Nice. Go away. Big meaty pants. Bully. Bully Bobini Slovini. They put us back the whole shift getting it cleaned up. Yeah, I'm not surprised by that at all. I've done that before. I dropped an entire pallet of sand, but I, I have I have slowed the shift. I once I once cost Amazon over fifty thousand dollars. It was a fun time. I pulled up I pulled off a bunch of workers to do uh, like a stretch huddle thing at peak hours instead of when. Uh, was optimal to do so and I I backed up the line for over an hour and it was bad time you know sometimes that just be how it be no. I thought it was gonna go the other way I assumed it an ass out of me and me I did two things to that that was weird oh it has it reset how do I get it oh now it's coming okay cool Oh, 
I unlock those? Do I just like press them open and I'm good? Oh, I'm gonna bet that they're gonna go fly to other parts of the map, aren't they? For you. It's a weird sand thing. Was right. Quick, follow that pipe. <laughs> oh, I pressed the wrong button. Crap. Where's that other pipe go? Oh, it goes down to the center platform. Easy peasy. Amazon hated that job that day there was a fire in my the day there was a fire was my happiest day there I feel you It's just a weird little whirlpool. All right. I mean, why not? You bet I didn't have much of a choice, but to bow down to Amazon if I wanted to watch Has Been Hotel. Um. No comment. Oh, I, I saw that. You use little warp things in order to do stuff with it. I see. Okay. Dark Eco. Oh, I missed one. Realize we're on one life. One heart, I mean. On infinite lives, apparently. I feel like that's not the right way to go. I feel like my friend, she always suggests piracy too. I didn't suggest anything. As a Twitch Terms of Service, I don't believe that I'm allowed to do that. I will say that I deeply enjoy supporting creators. I do not deeply enjoy supporting... Uh, uh, Big corporations who have no business with as much power as they do. That's all I'll say. For a second, I thought that was raising the water level, and I was really concerned. Uh, 
that might be the easiest power core I've ever gotten. None of us would suggest Yarharing it at Yara Bay. Yeah, I know I wouldn't. I've killed myself. just that one power core. Oh, there's something right there. A little door. All right, let's go get that. If we can, I don't know if we can. Wait, is that the exact same pathway? to make that jump or are we able to make that jump i don't think we can i think uh how do i get there is it the side path it's just like a slip and slide any rocks so I would never know oh no this is a new area you can't go back that door is an exit from another area yeah I, I assumed as much okay we'll probably run a little bit longer just so we can finish up this area and the next area in the other area that we were in before since nobody's on like after us. Need a blue eco charge. Oh, it looks like those things need a blue eco charge. All right, good to know. Let's kill these guys. See if they're not in our way. All right, we can't do that. What you down there? Um, can you rub my feet? What a, what a guy this guy is. We'd never have that kind of cutscene nowadays, let me tell you. Hypermorphic weasel asking people to rub their feet? I don't think we'd, I don't think we'd get very far in that, uh, that kind of situation anymore. Side of this? Oh, there is crap. I can smell somebody smoke. I love it. I love it when people smoke outside my window. One second, chat. I need to go yell at somebody outside my window. I need to double check the uh, the AQI in the area to see if it's word smoke or if it's uh, cigarette smoke. But I'm pretty sure it's cigarette smoke. Oh, yeah, it's definitely cigarette smoke. Yeah, love when that stuff wafts in my window. One moment.
go take a look see and uh nobody's out there so either they heard me yelling loudly that there was smoke and decided against uh continuing their endeavor or um got them all right do we get a cutscene there i was too distracted oh is it in here oh no did we go the wrong way oh no we're exiting the level we didn't want to do that have to go back and oh no go back down we mess up but there's clearly more for us to do here right yeah, there's there's swarms that we haven't even found. Get on the roof of the race chamber. Three seven scout flies. We have six of them, and we're missing two more orbs somewhere. Put me back. I'm not done yet. Exactly. That's what I'll say if there's an afterlife too. I'll be like, bring me back. Yo, it's got the dunks. Oh no, I'm dead. Hey look, there's the last fly. Alright, there's two more that we're missing. Because we incorrectly assumed the way that we needed to go. Oh, plus that one that's back in that room, right? Did we grab the one off the top? Okay, we did. Oh, there's three that we haven't gotten. We can go even further down and further beyond. Really glad we got that because I do not want to take this slide again. I need to go take the slide again. time every single rock has to be collected because this is a collectible game it's how it works oh gosh oh gosh oh gosh their Fabergé eggs. I don't think anything that fragile could hurt my spirit so much. slide down this sucker. I like that you can go faster. It's like this one's actually kind of difficult. I like that though. No, no, 
no, no, no, no, no, no, no, too difficult, too difficult. Okay, we lived. This game has been perfect to chill working on a model. Well, I'm glad that it can be that for you. I got a bad feeling about this. Jack, run! The dark ego is rising! It's running! Nice watching. See you. See you, Zerk. See ya. A Jaeger neck, I see. Thing that you've had for ages and you're finally making progress on it i love to hear that i have some plastic that's sitting around in my space too because i didn't get anything for it we're still missing one where is it here's the exit for this it must be in this other area over here must be the area that i had falsely assumed was like the, the way forward this one over here. spot for the mid 2000s 2010s Gundam kits because they tend to have a good articulation for closing but not enough parts to be time consuming or fragile yeah I like it when, when parts know what they're doing we get them all that's it 100% of this area Isles you are your own worst foe this is true I like being my own worst foe. It means that I can kind of predict what, uh, what problems are going to occur. I can be satisfied with the problems that I make myself. For the most part. It's like we got everything. Oh crap, thought I could time that right. It's clear that I could not. Know your enemy, know thyself. So true. Whoa, okay, buddy. All right, it's time to leave this area.
All right. That area is completed. What's it expect us to do? Just run out into the random like water right here and get killed by the fish? How oh, dare wow. You raised a piece of the underwater ruins to the surface. It seems you can use eco in ways we've never seen before. A power cell surfaced with the room. Climb up there and get it. Got it. Where do I go from here, though? Do I have to go back over that other way? Yeah, I guess I'm in the coral reefs, quote unquote, so I'm not gonna get killed by the big fish, which is super nice. No, I did everything on the inside hidden. You're good. You 100% of that area. I feel like I deserve a, a little dumb chocolate for all that. That was a tough little area. How far are we done with this game? 51%? That's pretty good progress, don't you think, chat? For only a four hour playtime? I'm gonna have to install the second one. You have a kid at basically an LAM and I dread the sticker sheet. Oh, but the sticker sheets are fun. this go? It looks like it goes into a completely new area. Don't tell me it's another sub area. That would be insane. Oh no, it's another sub area chat. What are we gonna do? Where are our save points? Are they after we get an orb? Am I good to like quit? to manually save what's up nerd great you have the cells for the machine they ought to provide enough power to lift that boulder there we go now be careful facing that monster lurker at the top wait uh, I'll stay here and protect Kira Jack I think you're ready to handle that monster without Oh, really heroic of you. Let's go beat this monster up. Oh, this way. You big dumb. This man has fire retardant boots. I want fire retardant boots. This looks a little too hot for comfort. You know what I'm saying? I thought I could maybe hit them back, but you cannot. And Ratchet and Clank were your jam back in the day? Heck yeah, Kwaza. I feel like I did something wrong there, but I'm not even sure what I did wrong. It makes sense, right? Oh gosh, we killed ourselves. Don't step into the light, Jack! Don't step into the light! 
silly game. Look at me dying to a children's game, chat. Oh my gosh, I fell into the lava and it immediately killed me. Okay. Neat. Let's try that again. Kit has 45 stickers, including the cockpit console on a 1 to 100 scale kit. That sounds very precise. It sounds like you could have to install those stickers with tweezers. in the last levels for a platforming sequence before the boss fight it's not a kid friendly game so many rage quits well if this platforming section is any indication also like this game is performing very badly it's lagging in several spaces pieces places It's laggy. It's losing frames. I can't be precise because the game is not well optimized. It must have taken this right from that PS3 re uh, like remaster that you were talking about because oh my god.
strange how some games can run better on a PS2 EMU. I agree. Hardcore agree. Okay. to go back for the rocks. Rocks are too important. I don't think we can get all the rocks in the entire game though, Chet, because we soft locked ourselves out of the Misty Island one. But maybe that thing, the guy that runs the little cannon will respawn later and that'll give us what we need. Mistakes. right now. Takes Ultra Pog. Oh 
geez. Let's get a nice big lead on those guys. Oh, we missed. Oh! missed one in the mountain pass is there like a time trial thing like we have to go back and then and get it like that there must be right i have to imagine so well then What a place to set up shop, eh? Sage gave up with so little effort. No fun at all. Gull? Is that you? You've finally gone off the deep end, eh? And Maya, I told you the dark eco would affect you both. Mm, nobody ever listens to old Samos. What have you two done with the blue and red sages? Don't worry about your colorful friends. You old fool. They're perfectly safe in our citadel. Our special guests. They have graciously agreed to help us on a little project. You are wrong, Samos. Dark Eagle can be controlled. We've learned its secrets, and now we can reshape the world to our liking. You can't control Dark Eagle by itself. Even the precursors. Until now, we've do. had to scrape by with what little Dark Eco we could find near the surface. But soon, we will have access to the vast stores of Dark Eco hidden deep underground. Not the silos! Yes, the silos. They will be opened, and all the Dark Eco of the world will be ours! But that's impossible! Only a precursor robot- Oh, don't look so upset, Samos. We've got big plans for you. <laughs> Wait a minute! That was Gull? The same Gull who's supposed to change me back? Gull is the guy trying to kill us? I'm doomed. We may all be doomed. If they open the silos, the Dark Eco will twist and destroy everything it touches. We simply must get to their citadel to stop them. The fastest way there is through the lava tube at the bottom of this crater. A few more power cells and your Zoomer's heat shield should get you across the lava safely. All right, my boy. You know what to do. Take the flea bag and go round up more power cells. Yes, sir. Uh, we want to go to the Blue Sages hut. <laughs> Dark Eco's great. Sure it has effects, but you know, all, all good. Exactly. <laughs> It's 
Rook Village. Uh, we just gotta bring some orbs to the Oracle. We have all of the orbs that we need to orb with. We're gonna be orbing soon, chat. Just with a line of Dark Eco, it's totally natural. Exactly. actor to anybody else? Yoda said he's really got the thing going on in the back of his face. Daxter seems less clumsy after his change at least. Yeah, exactly. How are you? Uh, I just want to see really quickly if uh, we can race this backwards and get another uh, power cell from it. Fire Canyon does not have an extra power cell by racing it backwards. This is that guy's voice only... Guy's only voice credit, you're pretty sure? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if it was just like a dev, you know? Okay, so can we save here? Options. Save game. We should definitely do that. 57%. All right. He did sound design on a bunch of the games, though. But yeah, that makes sense. It's like, man, I wish I could hire somebody for this voice, but I don't know anybody. I guess I'm just going to have to do it myself. Saved, baby. Exactly, Diggs. Exactly. All right, everybody. I think that's it for me. I've been streaming a little bit past my time, but, you know, that's how it goes. It ain't no crime. So I will see you all again next week. Um, or if you'd like, we'll be streaming probably Friday on my channel. I, I had to kind of shorten the time stream on that schedule because I'm looking for a job right now. You got three things for me, two info and one game related. All right, go ahead, share them. I'm, I might not comment on them, uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll look at it. I'll read it. Um, see you all a later time. If you'd like to give me a follow on my channel, my channel's in the title. Feel free to do so. Um, might see you Friday on there. What game are we playing on my channel? I don't remember. It's a game. We'll, we'll be playing a game, <laughs> but uh, I'm not sure. Uh, on here we'll be playing more Jack and Daxter so look forward to that I don't think there's anybody up after this so I hope you all enjoy your weekend and enjoy your week I have an assignment for all of you as I'm getting on out of here uh, keep in mind the thing that you eat that you think is the tastiest thing that you've eaten all week because I'm going to want to report Next Sunday, I want to report on the tastiest thing you've eaten. So keep it in mind, chat. And uh, with that, I think I'm going to get out of here. So see you, everybody. See you next week for more Jack and Daxter. Bye-bye.